Hey, I'm John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the Mini Vent brought to you by Neo Instruments. The Neo Vent is a smaller, lighter version of their ventilator, which they brought out a while back. Um, it has some interesting features. First, as you might guess, on off, then right after, right over here, it goes from slow to fast. And what I really like about this, much like a real Leslie, um, it's not immediately fast or immediately slow. As you know, when, you're, when you watch a Leslie uh, horn, you can see as an as a, uh, organ player hits it, it will kind of take a while to rev up and then take a while to slow down. And they cop that here. Anyway, that's one of the features. Next, there is an AB switch up here that gives you two different options. A is a mellower sound. It's not using the ca the uh, cabinet simulator, and it's not overdriven. It's kind of like a Leslie that's mic'd off. Um, the mic is a little bit distance. But when you put it on B, which is where we are right now, there's a little more grit and growl, and there's a cabinet uh, simulation. Um, in addition to that, there are five different versions of presets you can go through that give you varying degrees of, of grit on both the A and the, uh, on the B setting. So pretty cool. Um, and it's not just on off uh, fast and slow. There's also a stop version, which gives you the sound of the Leslie not moving, which again gives you a little, kind of a little bit of grit, a little bit of boost and some I don't know, it's not like chorusing, but there's a sound, and we'll get into that later on. Uh, in addition to that, if you want to get further into editing, you can open it up and there's a jumper jack inside to switch between high and low gain. So if you have a real high gain guitar, you can accommodate it with the pedal. Now, before I tell you more about the pedal and show you what it does, let me tell you about everything else in the signal chain. I'm playing my 1956 Les Paul Custom, and this is, I mean, it's a 58-year-old guitar, so it's had a few changes. The Bigsby is not the original Bigsby, and part of it was refinished, but basically it's, it's pretty much intact uh, for these 58 years. Um, I've got it plugged into an uh, Astro cable that's running into this. The pedal is being powered by its proprietary uh, power source, which has 12, uh, 12 volts. It's running out of this into a uh, Fender Machete amp. Right now we're in the clean channel, but we'll go to the dirty channel later on. Um, they're both flat, and this is what it sounds like without it on. We're miking it with a Royer R121 mic, running into an FG Quartet and into Pro Tools. So that's the whole deal. Now why don't I just kind of take this thing through the paces and you can hear what it does. Leslie's are great effects that people have been using for, I like the Beatles used, um, Elton John used it like on that uh, Loose in the Sky bit I was playing, um, SRV, Steve Ray Vaughan would use one, Joe Walsh would use one, a lot of other people. And the cool thing about it, players like that, they would have their Leslie going and spinning kind of the whole time, but they'd also have their, their other amps going in conjunction with that. So it's rarely just the Leslie, it's usually a combination of, of things. So it's a great effect. This offers you with the stereo out to run between two amps for a really huge spread, really get a big spread. But right now we're running into one and I, I find that plenty big. Uh, I guess if you really wanted to go crazy, you could run left and right out of there and then run a separate uh, amp of just clean and that would be kind of the ultimate setup. Anyway, that's kind of, uh, that's a little big, a little ambitious for right now. But let me just show you what this does. Right now, when we came in, I was on the B setting and I started out with it on slow and then went to fast. So, you can see when I hit this, kind of feel it revving up like that. Now, let's try it in A, which will be a little mellower. That's in B, which is a little more aggressive, as I said. 
which is kind of my go-to. If it's gonna, if there's a louder setting, that's the one I usually like best. But there, that's a nice kind of dreamy thing. Pretty great. So that's it. We have fast, we have slow. Now let's try it on stop. If we hold these both down, then it will be in stop. So, okay, here it is. We engage it and see here it's got a little more grit, a little more personality to it. Here it is off. Here it is on. <clears throat> Pretty cool. So let me show you kind of a more aggressive setting, like add a little bit of dirt to it and show you kind of what like Cedar Ray Vaughan would do. So that SRV tone, you know, particularly with a Strat, is just huge, awesome. But you know, for Les Paul, it's, it's it's you know close enough. What I like is to put it. We're on A right, or on B right there for a more aggressive sound, but put it on B on the overdrive channel, so we're not getting drive from here, but just from the amp, and then put it on a slower setting like a. great tone that is. So another great benefit of this pedal, it totally camouflages intonation problems. So you people that like Bigsby's will dig this. So to read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. And while you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook. We are adding new stuff to Facebook like every five minutes. There's so much guitar geek stuff out there. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll keep you up to date on all the cool new gear that's out there. <laughs>
Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.